I watched the movie and I didn't like it. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1990. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna commentate through the movie. I did react to the movie. I will be showing you clips from the movie and me reacting to it, so that's like double protection. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles opens up in the city of New York. Uh, basically there's just the issue of like kids stealing everything. It's just like disorganized crime everywhere. Uh, apparently no one can just stop them. Like, like look, look at this one dude. Is Even this Gotham? I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is literally DC, so. From skateboards to stereo systems has been like, disappearing from store shelves and storage areas at an alarming rate. That sounds like a you problem. All of this stuff is just gone. Uh, you may ask me, what's the reason for all this crime? What's the motivation? <laughs> and then we meet this lady. Her name is April. She gets attacked. And then we get one of the most crisp, best action scenes that I've about ever seen. Oh shoot, they're here. What great action, I gotta say. The cops got there fast. There it is. The turtles are finally revealed in their glory. And I think this is a good time to talk about the freaking turtles. Oh my god, the turtles in this movie. I, I, I don't know if this makes up for the poor dialogue in the movie, but oh my god, the turtles are so cringe. We're awesome! Foundation! You did nothing. Yeah! Totally tuned to us, too. Uh, 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 Major League butt kicking is back in town! They are oh my god. Okay, Master Splinter, weird name. Uh, talks to the turtles about maturity. They need to be together as a team. He tells Red after losing his 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 dagger thing. She taking the dagger, bro. She just grabbed it by the blade. That's kind of crazy. So those those are things that I picked up on. I was like, maybe we'll see that throughout the movie. We'll see a good character arc with the turtles coming together as a team. Maybe there's a theme there that we can look through throughout the movie. Um, all the turtles maybe becoming more mature, maybe Red trusting his other teammates more, uh, so we can get a good final team to beat out. Red dude is like, dog, I want some air. He puts on a Superman mask, he has the hat. Man, that's one thick turtle. And he's just a different person. He walks out into society, but there are some quirks in the street. Red dude just shows him what's up. Just, just gets rid of them. It's too easy. But then hockey dude comes down. I think his name is Casey Jones. Cricket. Cricket? Nobody understands cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. I'll teach you. Whoa, did he just... Did this dude just become black? He's just better. Look, okay, <laughs> there's a funny thing. During like almost every single fight scene, there'll be like one blow where the dude's like flying in the air. It's crazy. It's like, who has that much strength to like punch, kick, hit someone? And they're literally like flying. It's like, man. And then he's, he starts to rage when he's called a freak. Dog, dog, he's about to kill you. Jump over the car. What the heck was that? Some 500 pound man. April throughout this movie has like the goal of trying to figure out the Foot Clan. Everyone knows about it. Apparently they came from Japan. Uh, there's some ninjas who decided to just loot New York. What is the reason? don't know. April's a reporter kind of wants to bring light to it. Uh, I think it's the mayor who she criticizes, but she's criticizing the mayor, whether he's like the chief or wh whatever he is. She criticizes him. 
we finally get reveal of the main villain. He's watching on like 30 different screens all at once watching the same news report. He chucks his dagger towards one of the screens. Somehow the screen's still working. He's just like that. And then we get reveal of the main villain. Ooh. The the foot people with the with the little bug eyes. I'm gonna just call them buggies. They attack April. Now that I think about it. Didn't they try and give her something? They're like, this is for you? I wonder if they actually gave him something or if that was just like some joke for them to punch her because they were supposed to give her something, but it was like never referenced through the movie. What? Bug eye people? Am I behind on my Sony payments again? <laughs> Your mouth may yet bring you much trouble, Miss O'Neill. I deliver a message. Dog. Shut it. Okay, so while this is going on, the turtles at home are, are just sipping over April. I'm in love! Uh, when, when they saw her on TV, they were simping over her. Red's like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find her. I need to get some of that, that, that human meat. Okay. He, he goes and stalks her. Uh, follows her down to the subway, where she gets attacked, like I said before. Red saves her. That's it! <laughs> One punch, man. Bro, for a second, I was like, what if all he wanted was his sword? <laughs> what if he just got his sword and he just like dipped? He's a bit late, she's unconscious. He brings her into the sewers, which is stinking. Luckily, the turtles don't even have noses, so whatever. Brings her there, then she gets introduced to all the turtles. Master Splinter talks about how all the turtles, like, were little, then they got in some ooze, and then they turned into big turtles and big rat, you know? Okay, after they meet April a little bit, she says the magic word pizza because you know these turtles love pizza. I'd like to invite you all in, but, uh, I really don't have anything to offer you guys except for, uh, Frozen pizza. Let's go for it! You said the magic word. You guys eat pizza? Doesn't, Doesn't everybody? everybody? You killed my brother, you dirty rat. Mmm. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that must be Splinter's favorite. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But when they get back to the sewers, hmm, looks about the same. Okay, obviously they, they get robbed. Uh, by the looters in the city, by the foot, and Master Splinter is gone. Oh no. Um, the villain of the movie has Master Splinter. Oh no, right? So the movie is just about getting Splinter back. Uh, that's what the rest of this movie focuses on. This is what happens when you oppose the blows. <laughs> so, throughout this movie, April has had a son, which I just haven't talked about just because. I forgot his name. His name is gonna be Billy, because that's the name I can think of right now. Sid? Oh my god, is he from Toy Story? Billy is one of those stealers. Now, he's not a part of the Foot Gang, but he's just he just likes to steal. Until he becomes a part of the Foot Gang. This is the Foot Man. Money cannot buy the honor which you have earned tonight. Is this a pay-per-view? Why are there people just watching? You make us all proud. Darth Vader, is that you? Okay, how much of this movie do we have left? Oh my, oh my god, we're only 35 minutes in this Together we will I may need to take a halftime break. Master. You can see they're holding like a pay-per-view <laughs> event. They were just letting kids in. I don't know if they're passing out flyers, how that worked, whatever. So we see the kid there and he wants to join the foot gang. He, he wants to be a part of this family, I guess, that they, that they got going on. He's evil now. Motivation, don't know. He doesn't like his parents, why? Because they don't let him steal. He likes the foot gang, why? 
because they let him steal. Basically, he just his whole personality is stealing until the plot needs him to change later on. So they're at April's house, and Red's like, "We're not doing anything about this, you know. Splinter's out there, and we're just staying back." And the other Ninja Turtles are like, "Well, April has a close connection, so we'll just wait on her to do something because they don't even know where to go." But Red gets mad. He goes out to just be by himself. I, I don't know, do some little little flips by himself. He usually really wanted to do flips. But the foot gang catches him. Oh no. Foot gang beat him up, punch him around. April goes home and he's like, where's Red? Uh, he's fine, they say. He's fine. FBI, open up! <laughs> They have a big battle, FBI open up type style. Everyone just comes in. They fight. Casey joins because he needs to join. He needs to join the turtles, so that's why he joins. And then they go hide away. They they go they go to like a lodge somewhere like in the country. Who owns the house? Don't know. Maybe they just stole it. They sit there for a little bit. April and Casey interact. Um. Their first interaction wasn't good. Hey, I am your man. I am Mr. Fixit. All right. Let's go. Lead the way, Toots. Toots? Oh, oh, babe, do you want to throw me a clue here? I'm drowning. You know what? That's OK. I'll take care of it myself. Fine. That's up to you. Just don't come around here asking for my help anymore. See, I wouldn't ask for your help if you were the last thing on the face of this planet. That escalated quickly. As you can see, it wasn't that good, but next scene, they're together, this happens. So yeah, it's a little bit confusing. <laughs> they like each other now. Like, 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 like each other. But the Ninja Turtles are like, we're ready to fight. This is the final battle. We're gonna get it done. Uh, Billy comes in. She's Master Splinter all locked up, and Splinter gives some dialogue about the origin of everything, not even of the turtles, it's like before that. Hi, uh, I know you're in a void right now, but so the original clip of me showing you what Master Splinter says is taken out because it had the whole video blocked, so I'll just explain it to you. So Master Splinter was a little rat, and he had a master, and his master had a very big enemy, and that enemy uh, went insane because they were both loving the same girl, so that, that enemy killed the girl and then killed the, the guy. And then Master Splinter was all alone. The end. So now we know the origin of the manga. <laughs> we, we, we know the origin of everything. And now we get into the final battle, okay? So what you said, family? You, you, you call this here and that down there family. Maybe they should explain why. Are they going to explain why they feel like this needs to be like, why they need family and this is it? Casey. Nope. They don't. That would have been a good character development moment. Yeah, I just thought it would be a good moment for character development. It didn't happen. I'm not mad but it will hurt your rating. Which will, is what I'll be doing by the end of this movie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate the movie if I didn't. I didn't say that, did I? The final battle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus the Goober villain. They fight. Um, it's not really a fight. It's more of just the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lose. Oh my god, they can't stop making jokes, can they? Jesus. But during this time, they let Master Splinter out, so he's escaped all well and dandy, but the Ninja Turtles really just suck. All four of them. They're not even fighting as a team, which should have been one of the main points of the movie, some of the main themes, fighting as a team. They literally fight them all individually. Don't know why. Their maturity hasn't changed. But they all just get beat. So Master Splinter comes and is like, hi, I'm here, and then beats him using one move. He slays them. 
It was that easy? It's a super anticlimactic ending to a movie. And honestly, it just kind of sucks. I didn't really feel much tension going into the final battle. I was bored during the movie, but the final battle was so bad. Major got beat until Splinter came and did some whoopity woo, and the dude fell. And then Casey did the craziest thing I've seen of all time. The dude he falls into a into a trash truck, and Casey's like, "Oops." Or, one that's gruesome. That is horrible. You're crushing him to death? Oops. Presses the button and it crushes him with the rest of the trash. He's gonna he's gonna be put up for murder with that. That's that is crazy. Dude just gave him the death penalty. Like, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it myself. Then the movie ends. Oh, actually, before the movie ends, Casey and April kiss. Why? Don't know. Review time. Plot and writing. We already talked about the plot, so we can just cross that out. We don't need to talk about that. Let's talk about some of the writing. Look, they make jokes all the time. It's insane how many jokes every... They, they comp People now complain about Marvel movies making jokes. Watch this movie. <laughs> And it's just insane. Okay, okay, this is what I said. I said the Ninja Turtles sound like a high 60 year old's interpretation of surfer teenagers in the 70s. That's fairly specific, but it's also fairly accurate. They kind of go together. Nothing has any emotional weight. Character relationships are practically non-existent and they try and build them without really building them. Uh, the character dialogue wasn't good. It's a very basic plot. So out of 20, because Plot gets 10 points, writing gets 10 points, 20 out of 20, this this gets a 2 out of 20. So, congratulations, that wasn't good. Themes and tone, there were none. Characters, repulsive. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are annoying. The kid's arc doesn't make any sense. April shouldn't even like Casey based off of her personality and things that the movie even sets up. Splinter just says random stuff at times. The, the goober villain doesn't even state his motivation. He doesn't really have a strong one. It's like hinted at almost, but it's not even like a motivation for like why he does crime. He, he, wait, I'm thinking. Wait, I think I'm gonna just, okay, okay, okay. So he got the rat. He got the rat because rat scratched him. His motivation is that the rat scratched him one time. That's his motivation. Hmm. It still sucks. Sound effects, sometimes it was a little silly, but it matches. Five out of ten. Special and practical effects, I was, I was actually kind of impressed with the Ninja Turtles. I mean, they're talking as a natural. I think it may be robotic lips. I was thinking about it during the movie. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that's my theory. And it's done decently okay. They did have random muscles. I talked about that during my rant while I was like looking at it. I was like, there was like a muscle. So these are my muscles. L look at that. Aren't, aren't you impressed? So like they had a muscle going from like here around here. It was like the weirdest thing. I don't even know what muscle that is. They had like random muscles. They had like muscles like twisting around their arm. Cinematography. I liked it in certain moments. Six out of ten. Production design, I mean, it's New York. It's about the sewers, and the coloring always just seems dark. And I don't really like that, but I don't know if me not liking it means it's bad. Because I didn't really like it with Batman. I made a letterbox uh, review on Batman 1989. I didn't like how dark it was, but I didn't even talk about that because I don't think it matters. I think it does go with Batman and who Batman is, so I left it. Editing, doesn't really add anything in the movie. Five out of 10. Direction. Nah. Enjoyment? Nah. Uh, give it my signature. This is just where I, I would give my personal changes to the movie because, I mean, if I'm writing it, I gotta give some constructive criticism, obviously. Uh, basically, to just not make the movie. <laughs> That's my constructive criticism. I just don't think the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I don't think they work well in live action. I think as a kid's animated TV show, kid's animated movie, you could have done that. Um, 
it works better. But live action. Cricket. Cricket? Nobody understands cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. I'll teach you. Okay, so 33% is one half stars. It averages a 3.3 .3 stars. Oh my gosh, you guys are rating this movie so high. Wait. What is going on? Am I living in some parallel universe? How does everyone like this movie? If this is a trilogy, guys, I'm gonna have to watch two more movies of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, uh, 33% that puts it above Supergirl. That movie sucked. But below Superman 4. <laughs> um, seems fine. This is my list. I'll just say it super quick because this is the first time I'm presenting it on YouTube. But I mean, it's on my letterbox. You can go check it out for yourself. Shadow Strikes, Behind the Mask, Swamp Thing, Flash Gordon, The Shadow Returns, The Invisible Adventure, The Return of Swamp Thing, The Missing Lady, Supergirl, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Superman 4, Superman in the Moment, Dick Tracy, Dick Tracy meets Gruesome, Batman, Dick Tracy vs. Q-Ball, International Crime, Superman, Batman, Superman 2, Superman 3. There you go.